what businesses need accounting? What types of businesses need accounting? When we talk about businesses, you're going to hear the words entities a lot. We're going to refer to entities and most accountants, we talk about entities instead of businesses. And entities are defined as an economic unit whose financial result can be determined on its own. So basically you can ring fence it and go, there's my little business over there. It's separate from me and my personal salary and my personal income. There's my little business. I buy something, I sell it. And the financial results of that little process over there is an entity. So me as an individual, I could have a business buying and selling something out of my own backyard. And that little process of me buying and selling something is something separate. It can be separated from my personal stuff and that alone, that little thing would be an entity as well. So when we talk about entities, we generally refer to, to businesses. They can be non-profit or profit, so churches, um, charitable organizations, as well as your normal profitable businesses. And the type of entity we deal with will depend on the ownership structure. We hear the concept of public and private sector quite a lot. Private sector is owned by you and me, by individual. Public sector is when the government gets involved. So government owned or government institutions are your public sector, your municipalities, your government departments, your public sector. Your private sector is us as citizens, us as individuals, the businesses that we own. Forms of ownership, sole proprietorship or a sole prop, also known as sole traders. This is you, kind of in your personal capacity. Okay, So sole proprietorship means you, maybe while you're a student, you decide that there's a lot of money to be made in selling coffee to your fellow students. You're not going to open up an entire business and you're not opening up a company, but you buy coffee in the morning and then when you meet your, your friends um, in your study unit, you sell, them to, you sell it to them for three rand extra. You're going to make a profit off of that. You'd be selling that and you'd be creating a little business on the side and it's because you're doing it in your personal capacity. It is not a separate business, it is a separate entity though, because you can measure the results of that separately, and that would be called a sole prop. Partnerships, you and your friend get into the business, and your friend decides that he's going to join you as well, so the two of you run this business, and then obviously whatever profits you get, you split, that's going to be a partnership. Close corporations is a form of a company, or it's a form of a legal entity. Um, you can no longer create close corporations, so they are starting to, to become old and, and slightly obsolete. But closed corporations are a form of business, very much the same as companies. And these two are different from the others because they are what we call separate legal entities. And the difference between this and this, the personal and the legal entity, is that this company and these closed corporations are almost seen like individual people themselves. They have their own legal rights. Um, they have the right to do their own thing. They have rights and obligations. They're just... They're companies rather than human beings, but they are separate legal entities. So a company is separate from the individual. I may own the company, but as far as the law is concerned, the company is seen as something completely separate from me. Whereas my little coffee business on the side here is going to be seen as part of me because my little coffee business is not a separate legal entity. You don't need to worry about the legalities of all that at the moment, but these are the forms of ownership. In FAC 1502, we're going to spend most of our time talking about companies, and again, they are separate legal entities.